Hello and welcome. My name is Melody and today we're going to be making a baby mitten. Now this is my preferred baby mitten to give when I gift. It looks rather large probably. It is three inches by three inches. The Gerber ones are going to be closer to like two and a quarter inches by two and a quarter inches for newborns which you can see that is kind of a sizable difference. But mine are going to fit until they are about nine months old depending on the size of the baby of course and there's no chance that the baby will be born not fitting into my mittens which actually happens quite often I myself make big babies but they are also a little taller it's usually that's a kind of a square reference the two and a quarter is height and width on those little cotton cotton mittens and most patterns will be about two and a half by two and a half inches and mine are three and they're gonna fit for a while we have ribbing which you're welcome if you like the look of the crochet chain or the ribbing going through the wrist you are welcome to but with the crochet ribbing it kind of clenches in a little bit without suffocating their little hand so it stays on by itself which is fabulous and when you poof it up and it's not laying flat you could see it's rather tiny still they work up so quick i like to use simply soft for them karen simply soft which is a lightweight worsted weight size four yarn and that means it's straight beaten just a little bit smaller than your average worsted weight if you'd like to use your super saver that is fine but it's probably going to work up just a little bit bigger even if you use the same size hook speaking of hook we're going to be using a G hook, which is a four millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need some scissors, a needle for working in your ends. And just in case you think you're going out of control as far as the <laughs> size goes, you might need a measuring tape. And if you like to use a stitch marker, feel free. I just use the inside thread to mark my stitch. So let's get started, shall we? We're going to do a magic circle. Now, magic circles are fun. If you want to do a slip knot, chain four or five, slip into the first chain that you made to make a circle, chain two, and work your stitches with me, that is of course fine. But with small projects, I like to not have a seam, and I like to not have a chain circle on the top because baby fingers are so tiny. Hold on to your tail with your working yarn. Go over, under, over, and grasp. Now remember, this is the part that's connected to the ball. This is the end over here under your thumb. Then you're going to get your hook and you're gonna go under, this is the part farther away from your body, over, pull, and twist. And then you're going to chain one, and chain two, just for this one. And then you're going to release it and crochet over your strands. Now to do this, you're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull under two, yarn over, pull under two. That's my second double crochet. We need 10 total. We're not counting our chain two as a stitch in this project. Yarn over, insert, draw up a loop. One, two, three. Yarn over, pull under two. Yarn over, pull under two. And keep going till you have your 10 stitches. You're going to take that little tail and pull. It doesn't have to be too tight yet. You can always pull tighter later, just in case you're worried about breakage. You're going to insert your hook underneath the first stitch of the row if you need to count 10 stitches back feel free and you're going to place a single crochet this is the only single crochet don't let it throw you single crochet to so insert yarn over draw up a loop yarn over pull under everything on the hook the same stitch we need a half double crochet so that means yarn over, insert, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull under everything. So right here, what you're looking at is a single crochet and a half double crochet in the same stitch. And that's how we're gonna increase. Now, we're going to go ahead 
and use our little strand that's just the strand coming out of the center as a stitch marker get her tight over so she's not hiding any stitches under there it happens and yarn over insert draw up a loop yarn over pull under everything one more time for half double crochet and each stitch there was ten we'll get two half double crochets so that we can increase Now we are working in a spiral, which is wonderful. And we have marked, so we do not have to count, which is also wonderful. All we have to do is count one, two, one, two, one, two. And if you really do want a pair of tiny crochet mittens, you cannot do the next increase row. This is going to be 20 stitches around. If 30 stitches got you 3 inches, then 20 stitches, which is what this row would be, will get you 2 inches. So if you have a premier such, just don't do the next row. And of course, stop early. If you guys need me to do the tinier mitten, let me know down below. Happy to do a video on it. We're almost to the end. And that should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We are going to be doing two half double crochets followed by one half double crochet all the way around for 30 in a row. Don't have to slip stitch, you don't have to chain. Skipping that little gap because I didn't like the looks of it. There was two. Here's one by himself. There was two. Here's one by himself. All the way across. It's really easy to split this yarn. Not the end of the world, but just lay your stitches down carefully. My yarn is caught under a ball of blanket yarn. We're getting together some yarn for a giveaway for the Happy New Year. Super excited about it. It's me and the husband. Coming around to see that stitch marker. And there we are. We're about to reach the top, that stitch marker right there. And at that point, you are just going to start working around until you hit 10 rows. Let me show you what that looks like. So what we've done is gotten to here. And now we're just gonna work around for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is 10 total rows, because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then I will show you where we land. But let's start off together. So I'm gonna get you guys started and then I'll meet you at that point so, I, so we can all finish off that ribbing. So you might notice there was no slip stitch. There was no chaining. You're just going to go in a circle, which is going to spiral down until you count 10 stitches or rows from the top. And we're back. Alrighty, now we're going to decrease for one row and you're going to 
insert, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull under two, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, one, two, three, four, yarn over and pull under everything on the hook. That is your half double crochet decrease. Next stitch, you're just going to have double crochet. Now we're going to decrease again. Now you're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, draw up a loop. Oops. Split. Yarn over, pull under two. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, and pull under two. Yarn over, pull under everything on the hook. Next one, just half double crochet. I'm going to continue this all the way around. This is my decrease. all the way to the end of your row, which I'm just working on my line right there. Plus I found my first decrease right there. So I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Insert my hook underneath, yarn under, pull under everything on the hook, chain two. We are going to double crochet in each of the 20 stitches across. So yarn over, insert, Grab a yarn over, insert, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull under two, yarn over, pull under two, and each stitch across. Those decreases, of course, count as one stitch. That's how we came from 30 to 20. All the way to the end. And then you're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet of the row, chain two, yarn over, and we are going to go through the back stitch and the front stitch. So we're going to first do a front post double crochet. This is the front of a post. These double crochets, each of these lines right here are a post, and that's what we're going to be double crocheting around. So we're going to go around the front of the post first. So here's the front of the post. I have already yarned over because it's a double crochet. And then grab that yarn and draw up a loop. Three strands on the hook. Yarn over, pull under two. Yarn over, pull under two. Now we need a back post double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over. Go around back that yarn right there. There you go, around that same post but from behind. And complete your double crochet. Back to the front. Woo! You want to hold this kind of tight. I'm holding it so tight that I'm actually pulling myself out of my alignment. Normally my crochet is very free and easy, but for these <laughs> I have to crochet kind of tight because we want this to cinch up a bit. All the way around, front, and back. I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of the first stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, and fasten off. Use your scissors for snipping. Pull that through. Go ahead and turn this inside out. Tiny little thing that it is. And going to find that strand that you're using as a stitch marker because we need to weave it in. Now's when you can really pull the heck out of that. Then thread. And I'm going to take this for a ride downward behind these little back posts. Fortunately, 
half double crochets give you just these lovely little bars in the back. And they are great for weaving in ends. So I will take it down and then I will take it back up nearby. Really nearby. Remember how little those tiny little fingers and thumbs are. You do not want anybody getting caught in their mitten. Snip close to the end. Then we're going to weave in the wrist. And same idea. I'm going to take it in. And I'm going to use those bars again. Take it back down the way it came. And now you have a pair of very washable baby mittens. And if you'd like to see some different ways of decorating these, just let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to share. But there they are. How sweet are they? Such a fabulous gift. You just get a ribbon, maybe tie them together on the edge. You can use some other things to accompany the layette, a baby onesie, some booties, some little baby ballerina slippers. So much cuteness. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, like I said down below, please leave a comment. I would love it even if you just want to say hi. Let me know something you'd like to see me make in the future. Let me know some yarn that you recently purchased you'd like to see me review if you're questioning whether to buy something. Anything at all. Love to hear from you. Take good care. Please like, subscribe, and share if you know somebody that might be able to use this video. Take care. See you tomorrow.